Well, as we get you out the door this morning, you may want to grab that umbrella, but most of us probably not even going to use that just to be on the safe side into this afternoon. But temperature wise, again, they're going to be struggling those numbers to really move a whole lot with some of that cloud cover that we're going to be stuck with early on. We we'll get back into the low to mid 70s, though, by this afternoon. We may actually even clear out some of that cloud cover. Here's how Future Track has this playing out. I mentioned those sprinkle chances. They're going to be here largely as we get all the way into and through this afternoon. But again, going to be very hit and miss and very light if we get anything all the way down to the surface at all. There's a lot of dry air we're still kind of battling with here. Those raindrops are as we get into our Wednesday. And then we scoot that cloud cover out. We start to dry back out heading into Thursday. Those partly cloudy skies going to be a nice sight to see. Get us away from some of these gloomy skies that we're waking up to this Wednesday morning. Temperatures tonight, though, falling back into those middle 50s here. A very comfortable night looks to be in store. Those winds out of the south. And I mentioned we're going to be tracking more sunshine. That'll start to warm us up a little bit more as we get into our Thursday. Certainly feel a little bit better as we get some of that sunshine as well. Back into those upper 80s and or upper 70s and low 80s as we get into Friday. Hanging on to the low 80s to mid 80s for our Saturday. We're still tracking those rain chances though late Saturday night into Sunday morning. And the latest guidance is starting to come in still on the dry side of things. So Really, any of these rain chances that we're going to be tracking this weekend look to be fairly meager at that as we get you all the way through Saturday and Sunday. So if you have any of those outdoor plans, they look to be a go, certainly, as we get into this weekend as of right now. Now, on the other side of this weekend, we're going to be tracking something that's maybe a little bit familiar to us. That's that big area of low pressure, that big trough you can no notice right there in the Great Lakes. That's going to be bringing a lot of cold air with that as well. And you notice that ridge on the other side of things here. Back on the west coast, that could be leading to some more fire weather back that direction. So that's something certainly we don't want to see as we get into about the middle of next week. But back here into mid-Missouri, it looks like we're going to be dealing with a shot of some cooler air by the time the middle of next week starts to roll around. And you can kind of start to pick that out looking at that ABC 17 Storm Track 7-day forecast. Those temperatures kind of stair-stepping their way down as we get into Monday and Tuesday back into the middle 70s to start out the work week. Starting to work their way back into the low 70s by Tuesday. I think we may be stuck in the 60s as we get into the middle of next week by Wednesday and Thursday.